Yay! Happy GRVR Awards! Yay! Oh, what? This Gus is huh? already up to no good. He's like, "What is? What is happening? What is up, everybody? Happy Tuesday! It is not Monday. Uh, a lot of traveling happened for this guy uh, in the last thirty-six hours or so. Uh, but I am fine. <laughs> He's like, "I want to be on the show." Hi, buddy. <laughs> Hi. Uh, tonight's a very special night. We get to talk all about. GRVR, the very first Ginger Runner virtual run. Uh, <laughs> okay. Do you want to come up? Come on up. Come on up. Mama will pick you up. He's like, I want to be a part of it. He's so desperately ah. to be a part of it. Hi, buddy. This is Gus. Uh, tonight, he will be delivering the awards because we get to announce the winners Yay. of GRVR. The very first inaugural Ginger Runner virtual run happened this last Saturday. Um, so much happened in the last seven days that uh, it, it all just it like melted our minds because we were we were doing so many different things. Uh, big film premiere last night and mm -hmm. a lot of traveling and, and all sorts of stuff. Uh, but tonight we finally get to announce the winners of this incredible thing. Uh, so welcome to the show, everybody. Really excited. Ginger Runner Live, Ginger Runner Virtual Run Results Show begins. Yeah. <laughs> Ginger Runner. <laughs> kisses. The entire show is just going to be kisses. Um, what is up, everybody? Happy Tuesday. Not our typical Monday night show. Mm -hmm. Last night was uh, a big night for us, though not um, not live, unfortunately. But we premiered the uh, the new film, A Decade On, in yep. Seattle with Brian Morrison, uh, Ben Gibbard. Uh, Morgan Henderson, an, inc an incredible sold out audience. And uh, it was amazing. It was this amazing night up in Seattle. And unfortunately, couldn't do Ginger Runner Live and that at the same time. Uh, so we moved the show, obviously, to tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, just briefly on, a decade on, it will be released for you guys soon. We're just kind of figuring out, do we want to take it to different destinations first and show it? Uh, we will eventually put it online, of course, for you guys to enjoy and, and watch and be inspired by Because Brian's story is incredible everyone should know it and see it um it's uh, he's just he's one of the kindest most humble people and his story is incredible and and I, I want people to see it so we'll we'll make sure that it's available as soon as possible if you're on the patreon crew you'll see it much sooner uh it, we're very excited for you guys to mm -hmm. see it um uh, pete in the chat room asks where's kim's grvr shirt it is sweaty and in the laundry basket right it's now. It's <laughs> very, trust me I, I asked her to not wear it tonight <laughs> truth uh and mine is Equally as disturbing, but I, I wore it anyways. I snuck it on. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's still very fresh uh, from Saturday's big GRVR. So yep. tonight's show is all about GRVR. I want to start off by saying how overwhelmed I was with, with happiness and uh, inspiration. And I mean, all the big adjectives that we use on the show a thousand times with our guests and stuff, just to see the number of people who participated in this event around the globe, to see pictures, to see videos, to see sound bites and Instagram feeds and stories and all sorts of amazing things from around the world. I like, I got emotional multiple times in the last four days. Yeah, we both had a lot of like it's, overwhelming moments. It's crazy. Uh, I am so thankful that you guys participated and and had a great time. I can't wait for next year. Like we've already been like, oh my god, we got to do this. How many times a year do we have to do this? Uh, because it's just so awesome. Um, so we'll definitely be doing it again. Uh, this was the first one. It was kind of a, a test run for us to see is this something that we can do. We're not race directors. We have lots of friends that are the best race directors right. and fantastic. So can we pull off a virtual run? Do people even want to participate in those? Because do people like that sort of thing? But we try to make it worthwhile with good swag and stuff, and it seems like it worked. People had a great time. A lot of questions in the chat room about how many people participated. Over a thousand, well over a thousand, and that's not including some of the larger groups of people that weren't necessarily registered, but were participating with friends right. and family. We have friends and family that said, uh, like our good friends Justin and Destiny. They brought along a whole bunch of friends mm -hmm. um, that weren't registered, but they were like, I want to come with you to go do you know, the two hours of activity, yeah. which I think is fantastic. Yeah. The whole goal of the race was to unite like-minded people of all abilities, all levels from around the globe on a single day doing a single activity, and uh, it worked. It totally worked. It was really cool to see that feed throughout the day. Yep. 
And uh, just to give you guys a sense of, of like how global it was, you could go to Instagram and just search the hashtag GRVR16 and you'll see hundreds of photos of people. From everywhere. It was, everywhere. It was incredible. It's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. So tonight we get to uh, get to announce the awards. We're to celebrate you guys. Yeah. There are eight awards. Two of the awards have uh, male-female awards to give out. Just to give you an example, I, I have to give some shout-outs to, to some people who are helping out tonight. Elevation Culture um, is this incredible guy, Eric, who creates these wonderful uh, wood pieces mm -hmm. for a lot of races. And we had to make the custom metals which is of course across the room, uh, but mm -hmm. many of you have them. Um, they're the wooden medals with the bottle opener attachment. He hand made those and hand delivered them to me from San Diego. He also, in addition to those uh, medals, created individual awards for the winners. So the winners tonight will receive this award in the mail. We'll get your contact info and stuff like that afterwards. This, for example, is the female distance award, um, the longest distance run by a woman. We have one for the man. We mm -hmm. have the most gain uh, for female male. Uh, we have, they all look different too, and they all have different, um, uh, different like sayings and, and stuff like that on them. These um, are some of the nicest trophies that I've ever seen. I love them. I'm, I love them. I want to, we're keeping them. We won. I'm sorry guys. That's what, that's what this show is about. Uh, congratulations. Anyone that participated, you lost. Kim and I <laughs> win all the awards. I, I I never thought that I'd be giving awards like really cool handmade handcrafted awards, and I think this is awesome. We should have like rented a tux, and I should have worn like a ball. I'm game. wearing my tux. Oh. It's a stink. It is stinky. Stink tux. As I'm wearing it, it like moves, and it just gets is it worse. Scratch and sniff. Oh, don't <laughs> don't do it. That would be that is. I smell that now. <laughs> um, I'm celebrating tonight. We're gonna have to share this because we have one beer in the house, but. We can we can both LaCroix. split this. Uh, this is one of our favorite beers and one of our favorite Lacroix. Uh, I would like to say congrats to you on hosting your very first virtual run. This has been something you've been dreaming up for for a long time now, and I'm sure it feels amazing to you. It was all um, it was all like a mix because we were like rendering out a decade on There's all a lot Saturday. In this house. <laughs> For the last week, it's been you know nonstop editing and correcting and fixing things in a decade on for the big premiere, and then on Saturday, I was just like, all I want to do is GRVR stuff. I want to I want to shout people out and post pictures, and I could not leave my computer because it was literally babying a render. Uh, so that's that's my biggest disappointment is that yes, it was the first virtual run and it was hugely successful, but I didn't get to like spend all day just sharing your stories and sharing your photos and that kind of thing. Which is why I'm excited about tonight's show because we pulled a bunch of photos. Uh, we're going to be sharing some cool moments that we found from the weekend, from uh, your stories. It doesn't even begin to touch the surface of some of these cool things. Yeah. I again encourage you to go check out the Instagram feed. That's a great place to see visually some and things the videos. and the video side of things. I just created a playlist uh, on the Ginger Runner YouTube channel, which you are at right now. Is Ginger Runner Virtual Run videos? There's a whole list of them. People who entered into the Filmmaker Award contest, and and uh, even some that weren't into, entered into the awards, but just wanted to make some sort of video. Yep. People from around the from around the world: Johannesburg, uh, Italy, uh, Sweden. Um, it's amazing. Canada. Canada. <laughs> so far, uh, so it's been it's been really really cool. And I want to thank Kim because she's basically been on the computer there's a huge spreadsheet of everyone's results because the best way we could find to collect all of the results in a way that would allow us to calculate things accurately allow for you know no cheating because it's an honor system sort of thing and um kim was basically spreadsheeting all weekend of like pulling results and clicking links and making sure everything was right yeah and uh, so a big it round was, of applause for you. you. Thank you. It was actually really fun to kind of look through and click the links to the Strava accounts and kind of see the different areas people are running. And that was really cool. We will be sharing, we will be taking this spreadsheet, which has all this information, and we'll be distilling it down to a results category of like miles run, elevation gain, but you know, the basics. And we'll be showing you guys that. Uh, we'll be releasing that to the public because I know a lot of people want to go in there and Keeping see the results. Keeping your private information private, like yeah. emails and yeah. stuff like we'll, that. We'll put your social security <laughs> numbers in yes. there, but that's, yes. I guess, the U.S. is the only place with social security numbers. Uh, what we really want to get across, though, is that so many people participated just not like in a competitive way, which I think is 
what what I think is the best part is that a lot of people were like, I don't I don't really care how many miles I run or how much distance or gain I get. Um, I just want to do this. I just want to go out for two hours and spend time with someone else or alone or whatever. And that's what's really awesome is that it, it there there isn't this aspect of like if you don't finish this half marathon in a certain amount of time, you're a failure or something. It was really just about getting outdoors. And we saw a lot of people who do not get outside get outside. It was yep. pretty, pretty cool. And like injured people or people that haven't really been yeah. training. Mm -hmm. Um that was also really cool to see people getting outside with their families, with their dogs. So let's talk about the awards. There are, mm -hmm. like I said, eight awards, two of which have uh, a male and female uh, winner. Um, first of all, distance. So the most distance that was achieved in the two hour time span. By the way, I know that there may have been people that did not know how to submit their information. I got a lot of emails from people like, hey, I don't know. I don't know where to post my thing. Um, I hope that everyone managed to get it in because there was um, uh, an email that was sent out to everyone who was registered that told like basically right. a form to fill out and stuff like that. I think we ended up getting a lot of people. And I know a lot of people were just like, I don't need to submit my results. I'm not going for any award. So we had a lot of people that were just like, I did it. Here's my pictures. I had a great time. Don't need to worry about submitting yeah. my Strava or anything like that, which is totally understandable. Uh, it was really for people who wanted to compete for one of the awards. And so that's kind of the data that we ended up collecting. If for some reason tonight, when we announce these winners and you're like, oh, I did more than that, feel free to reach out. Uh, the awards tonight were... They're based on everything that was that input we, into yes. the spreadsheet via form submission. And that's so all that we can do. If for some reason... If it came through like a Facebook message or something, that's very difficult to keep track of because there were hundreds of those. Um, and in some cases, some of the data and results weren't sent via that way. And, and some people weren't submitting their links and yeah. and this and that. So so we used we used our best way. Uh, best <laughs> we used our best way. We collected the data as best as possible yeah. and that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, don't worry. Don't be upset if for some reason you're like I ran more miles or I did more gain and you, you don't get the award. We'll be doing this again. It's not a big deal. Uh, we just want to make sure that everyone feels good with what they did because it was it was pretty damn awesome. So um, here are the categories. We announced that the awards are our uh, longest distance run in the two hours. That'll be male mm -hmm. and female. Uh, most gain, so most elevation gain, both male and female. Highest elevation reached. And I was surprised. Like no, People didn't trick this one out. I had a couple people email me like, oh, man, I'm going to be on an airplane for right. 24 hours or something. I was like, Run up and down the aisles. Like if you track that and you're at thirty five thousand feet, that might count. I didn't specify that, but yeah, highest altitude reached. Uh, that's another award. We have the filmmaker award. This is one I was really excited about because something I've always wanted to do is encourage people to make movies and document their runs and document their experiences. So we had some great submissions. Watching the filmmaker award submissions yeah. was one of the most fun things and most difficult and most difficult yes because like, all, we should have made great. more more awards Apart, I, I regret not making more awards yeah. of like oh we should do first and second and third place because these are all great i don't want to have to decide on on one so yeah. a lot of these awards are subjective it's me and kim sitting there going okay yeah. all right. uh what else do we have the doppelganger award the ginger runner doppelganger biggest award crew. biggest crew so most people that participated uh, inspiration. Uh, this was one that I. Uh, this is a powerful category. We had a lot of submissions on the Inspiration Award, and this is like, I never should have created an award for most inspirational story. Yeah. If because you don't win for your inspirational story, know that Ethan and I were like moved to tears many times today. The last and... three hours have just been. Are you crying? I'm crying. Are you crying? You're <laughs> crying. I'm crying. We're both crying. The award for most inspiration goes to all who submitted for the Inspiration Award. We have one uh, one trophy, and we're going to be talking a little bit about some of the stories that reached out to us on in a very specific sort of way for us. And mm -hmm. there's no way to judge that. Uh, it's just I'm I'm actually debating putting all of these stories online. I know some of them are very personal, so we'll have to kind of feel it out. But um, I don't feel like people would have shared it with us if they weren't expecting it sure. to be shared and inspiring other people because these are incredibly inspiring stories. So I would very much like to consider uh, can consider uh, 
include is what I meant to say, include these in the results that we post online for you guys to view. Um, if for some reason you are an individual that submitted an inspirational story and don't feel like you wanted that uh, displayed publicly, please don't hesitate to let mm -hmm. us know. Otherwise, I, I think people need to read these because they're they're fantastic. And there is no way to pick a winner. And Stephen Kim in the chat room asked, is there a way to watch the video submissions? And you just yeah. mentioned it. So if you yeah. want to just say again where they can go yeah. for that. Right here on the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash the ginger runner. I created a new playlist. So if you go, I believe if you just go to youtube.com slash the ginger runner and then click on playlists, it is the most recent playlist that I just created. And all the links that were sent to me uh, in the form, I added those videos in. I added a couple other videos that I just found. And if you just simply search Ginger Runner Virtual Run or GRVR16 yeah. on YouTube, it just pulls up all these videos, some of which weren't submitted. And I was like, well, someone just posted their own video. Like yeah, we this found is really some, we found randomly. Some, yeah. <laughs> there's some great ones. There's some there's some great ones. Um what, what other awards? What am I missing? Filmmaker, biggest all. crew, doppelganger, donuts. donuts. This is one that um I needed to be more specific because we had we had both people who visited the most donut shops and most donuts eaten, consumed. consumed. Uh, we're gonna kind of go with consumed because it's just the it's gnarly. The calorie counter. The calorie well. counter. So we that's how we decided it was like, well, you can't count calories by shops visited, but we had some incredible people who visited like 20 plus 30 donut shops. They ate two or three donuts, but they visited all these donut shops and I'm like, that's amazing that they plotted it out like that. Shout out to all my fellow Canadians that went out to all the Timmy's. Tim Hortons. <laughs> Tim Hortons. Um, uh, there's lots of ch uh, uh, comments in the chat room that uh, next GRVR we should have a Gus doppelganger category. Hell yeah, we should. <laughs> hell yeah. That means more cute dog pictures. That was what we were missing. <laughs> we got a lot of cute. Someone submitted their own dog as, as the a ginger doppelganger. doppelganger. For you. <laughs> I laughed because it's brilliant. Uh, I do look like a dog, and uh, mm, but we always need more dog pictures. So I think that's what we should do next year: is have uh, <laughs> the best looking dog award. <laughs> <laughs> Just basically make people feel terrible about Gus is ugly like, dogs. Do I, get it? do I get it? Oh, guys, it's Gus again, fifth year in a row, <laughs> cutest dog. Um, okay, so I think that's it for the award categories, right? I think so. Yes. Yeah, these trophies are so freaking cool. So a big shout out to Elevation Culture. And if you guys are ever looking to get stuff like this made for a race that you're participating in or anything like that, definitely give give him a, a shout out because um, guys, guys a talented dude. <laughs> I also want, go ahead. Sorry, the chat room's entertaining me right now. Amber asks, what area has 30 plus donut shops? Uh, Theodore K2 goes, America. <laughs> yep, which is, which is funny, it's actually not, it's Canada, it's Tim Hortons. Yeah. Tim Hortons are yeah, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. They are everywhere. They are everywhere. I mean, you could, you could count Starbucks as a donut shop because they have they do sell That's donuts. That's true, yeah. I never really specified what classifies yeah. <laughs> a donut shop. That's why I think Donuts Consumed is a is a great yeah. great version of that award. Another big shout out tonight. Uh Gilbo Sunglasses is back. Our good friends over at Gilbo are giving away a couple of pairs tonight. Because we had we had some indecision, not necessarily indecision, but we had like just really great submissions. So in a couple of cases, we're going to award uh, the second place with a pair of like bonus prizes, bro bonus prizes, some, some bonus uh, Jobo sunglasses, just because Jobos are great, super high quality. And these people just deserve like not only a shout out, but some love. So we'll, yeah. we'll send them some good stuff. And we also have a rad gift certificate from Seven Hills Running um, that we are going to give to you as well. I believe it's 50 bucks or something. Excellent. Yeah, which is fantastic. And you can use that online and Phil there at the shop will will be able to deliver no problem. Where do we want to start first, babe? I think let's. Uh, I think we start from the top. Well, let's yeah. start with. I want to start with just like cool cool photos that we found. Because oh sure yeah, yeah yeah. Again, you search it on Instagram, you'll pull up a ton of photos. I I literally pulled just random photos because the story is kind of funny or there's just really cool moments that that got pulled up. Uh, I love. I love this one because not a lot of people got, not this everyone got good. to run GRVR. So some people signed up months ago and went, I can't wait for November 19th. And then something popped up. In some cases, uh, we had one guy from Sweden. He had surgery scheduled, uh, basically last minute surgery that got scheduled on the day of the run or a day after. And he's like, I can't do GRVR. Is it cool if I run it the week before and just don't count my results? And I was like, the fact that you want to do it a week before and you don't even care about the results, you just want to do it. Hell yeah. So he and his whole group, his whole crew did it. And we'll show you guys a little bit about that um, 
here down down later. I'll I'll talk to him more specifically. But this guy, this, this is one of my favorites. This is so rad. This is Ultra Marcus. Uh, due to injury, I'm forced to did not start this year's GRVR. But even though I'm at my brother's 50th birthday party, I'm still representing GRVR 16. He is wearing his <laughs> shirt underneath his uh, his dress up, which I think is just fantastic. Um, another big shout out to this duo, uh, Donkey Boy 82, <laughs> which I think is a great name, uh, and okay. Penguin 82 with both Bestie. really great names. Yeah, both great names. They, I was hoping someone would do this. Spell G R V R. A couple people did. There was another group of people that did the GRVR, but they added the 16 at the end too. And I was like, oh man, I got to give them a shout out. Um, here's another example of uh, some GRVR spelling. I it's thought it was really down, cool. But, yeah. You didn't even ask for this. I think it was awesome. Which is, it's you know, it's very reminiscent of Ginger Miss from yep. last year. I had people spell the word Ginger Miss on the run and tons of people did it. And we were actually surprised how many people did it and did like, it wow. really, really well. They're, they're running in a giant open park and they're just keeping track of the letters <laughs> and spelling Ginger Miss. It's amazing. Oh, I can't wait for Ginger Miss this year. It's, it's going to be a different version. Right. More distilled, not 12 days of Ginger Miss. Uh, because we had the virtual run, which I think is awesome. So we're, we're going to do something a little bit different this year, which I'm excited about. Um, and a big shout out here to our friends, uh, Chandra and Kevin, K-Chan. They, they're just, they're hilarious. They've been great <laughs> supporters of the channel and everything that we do. And uh, just to give you guys an idea of what they did, for their GRVR, they decided to run for two hours, but they wanted to visit as many coffee shops, like high-end, like fancy good coffee shops as they possibly could, and take a shot of espresso at every single one. They managed to get seven coffee shops visited in two hours. That's seven shots of like good quality espresso, not watered down stuff, but just straight up <laughs> caffeine. Uh, and they did a gr they did a great um, video. They were really fun to follow. Super fun to follow because they were doing live Instagram stories. I was actually the concerned time. for their hearts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Chandra actually has a bunch of videos. By the way. Uh, many of you have submitted videos from the weekend. I am going to be editing together a nice collaboration video with some of these these things. We filmed our run, and mm -hmm. uh, people from around the globe filmed there. So it'll be a really, I hope, a cool video compilation of uh, different people's things. So I'll be including a lot of their their video from their run because it's just so funny. Uh, here's one of the uh, last videos that they sent on their Instagram stories from their seven espresso oh, shots consumed. <laughs> one more coffee shop to go, 20 minutes, trying to make it to Minotti's, one of our favorites. Can tell if I want to vomit, poop my pants, or pee my pants. <laughs> Bad idea, espresso run challenge. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> I can't tell if I want to poop my pants, pee my pants. What'd she say? I can't tell if I want to vomit, vomit poop my pants, pants, or pee, pee my, my pants. pants. <laughs> like That's we, what we would re happen. We repeated that line many, many times in this house. That's exactly what would... Yes, that's what happens when you take seven shots of espresso. <laughs> Uh, I just love it because some of the videos are them like running into the shops. They're all like really nice shops yeah. in, in Los Angeles. And they're just running in and like they're running clothes and people are just kind of like, why are you guys in such a hurry? We gotta get a espresso shot. Glug and gone. <laughs> it's just, it's so funny. It's so funny. Um, okay. I, let's start with the doppelganger award. You wanna start with that? Or do you wanna start You're with You're the boss. Yeah, let's see, let's see that one. <sighs> okay, where is it? Is it the right of course, there. of course there's orange. It's orange. So the doppelganger award is for the best ginger runner lookalike. I put this one out there thinking, oh, people are gonna go crazy. Some people did. Some people just took pictures of their own face. <laughs> <laughs> or their dog. Or their dog. <laughs> but one guy in particular went the extra mile. His name is Baz Green. Baz Green, congratulations. <laughs> this is the best ginger runner lookalike uh, out there. I have to say, it's a little more Gary Robbins lookalike than it is me. It's but... like a Gary ginger runner hybrid. Yeah, it's a, except a lot of Gary up on that face. Like, look at all that that ginger beard. Um, but he managed to get everything just like dialed perfectly. Uh, I think it's hilarious. It was the one that made us laugh. And he even took video of him running. <laughs> and I watch it and go, that it, that's how I look. That's how I look. <laughs> he had the selfie stick, the GoPro, <laughs> everything. I think it's fantastic. There was another video. I didn't pull it, but it is available online. You can go check it out. Uh, it was the beard glue head 
had come free. So he was actually running, holding the beer. Holding on. the beer because the glue, he had it attached with glue. It's not like straps and he could pull it off in front of people. He glued it to his face. So he's running around in public with this. <laughs> like, what are, that's the thing that I think is so funny. So many of you did crazy things in public in front of people. And I love it. I love it. So congratulations, Baz Green. Hey. Doppelganger, uh, the first winner of a GRVR award. Um, anyone who wins tonight, please just drop us an email. Let us know. Well, actually, we, we have should it. have everybody's we should, emails. We have it. We'll reach out to you. Don't even worry yeah. about it. So congratulations, Beth. Um, I love that one. The next one, let's do. <laughs> if, Wing Taylor says, if Jim Henson <laughs> made an Ethan Muppet. <laughs> That's I like good. that. That's good. <laughs> ah, the old ginger runner Muppet. <laughs> uh, I think biggest crew. Let's do biggest crew. Sure. Biggest crew Got is it. nice royal royal blue. Uh, the biggest crew is going to go to the person who basically got the largest group together. We had a lot of people submit amazing photos of these huge groups and, and everything like that. Um, I want to make sure I got the name right. Do you have it there? I do. So I have it. I definitely have the uh, the photo itself. I just want to make sure you have the name. Great. Um, this was close because it was tied, but because Ish. of legit, yeah, we we basically had to come down to the photo evidence. The photo evidence was key. Yep. So we had two people say that they had twenty five people in their group. Twenty five people. <laughs> One person had twenty five people, a dog plus someone else that came and went, but they took a photo with the twenty five people. Here's here's that photo. It's just it's so awesome. <laughs> it's so awesome. Such a huge group, an awesome group. That goes to Ted. I'm gonna pronounce it wrong. Kuther. I think it's Kuther. 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 I could be very wrong. Okay, Ted. Kuther. I think. Or Kuther. We will. If you're in the chat room, we want to know who pronounced it right. Because I'm I'm willing to bet I did not. I I probably also did not. It's probably cow to her. Keither. Keither. Ah, then. Oh, well, it's Theodore. It's Theodore K two. <laughs> Fantastic. A regular viewer of the show. That's awesome. Congratulations to you. You get this award. Yay! Yay! Biggest crew indeed. Uh, are you running out of space? We're running out of space. We have a table <laughs> for the first time. You know, like Ginger Runner started. Yes. We had a table, and the table is full. We I got beer, be Lacroix. Yeah. Organizing here. Moving things around. What do we got? Uh, we do yes, one? absolutely. Okay. This next award was probably, I was overwhelmingly surprised with how many people contributed to this award. I was thinking that this was the uh, mm -hmm. award that most people would go, oh, that's really funny, and then just not do it. <laughs> Going off of last year's Ginger Miss challenge to drink eggnog, we had two people do it. I think it was two people total, and it was awesome. They filmed they it. They did it, it well. But this year, the donut challenge posed a unique challenge, just knowing that like eating challenges are not my game. I don't like them. So watching these videos of people do this <laughs> was <laughs> gnarly, to say the least. Absolutely gnarly. Uh, so this award is going to go to the individual that ate the most donuts in a two-hour period while they ran. And the result is very impressive. <laughs> Inappropriately impressive, as a matter of fact. Uh, it actually goes to good friends of ours at Mountain Outpost. It goes to Skylar Hall. The uh, Calorie Counter Award, 19 donuts in the two-hour period. Actually, 19 donuts in about an hour and a half. Or, or it was, no, it was an hour. It was like six miles. He ate the 19 mm -hmm. donuts and then just stopped eating anymore. He could, he could not get any more donuts in. Uh, so I got to give him major cred. And I'm not going to lie. I was impressed when I was going through the results and I was seeing people that had like six or five or eight donuts. Yes. Like, this is crazy. It's, it's disgusting. Um, but like disgusting in the best way. Like in the best way. Uh, so Skylar Hall, congratulations with 19 donuts. You get the award. Now, again, this is from our friends, uh, Jamil Curry and Skylar Hall over at Mountain Outpost, another YouTube channel that we enjoy. Uh, it's fantastic. Jamil's really funny and Skylar's just really full of donuts. They have a great <laughs> video. They filmed it as they do with all their stuff. They filmed it. It's a great video. I actually have it here. I'm going to show you a little bit because I really want you to go watch the rest of it. And we have Mountain Outpost in the chat. Yeah, Mountain Outpost is here. Um, I want to uh, make sure that 
you guys go watch the full video at some point. I think I even added it to the uh, GR VR playlist so you can watch it there. But uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of the video. It's I wanted to even give them the award for best filmmaking because they always just do a really great job. But I thought the filmmaking is, yes, it's, it's fantastic. It's great. The editing mm -hmm. is good. The, uh, the photo <laughs> quality, video quality is great. But 19 donuts. Let's give this kid his, <laughs> give this kid his award. So here's a, a little bit from Mountain Net Post and their. Uh, by the way, J Jamil also ate donuts. Jamil also tried. He's a <laughs> vegan, and he tried to eat the vegan donuts, which are oh, thick. Oh, the cake cake. donuts. Oh, they're just like, dude, you couldn't even get. I couldn't imagine one. Uh, okay, here we go. Today is November 19th. We're here for the first ever Ginger Runner Virtual Run GRVR 2016 Jam Jam here at Mountain Outpost. Myself and Skyler, he's in Nebraska today. Coming to you live from Lincoln, Nebraska. We are both going to be doing a follow-up to our donut challenge. So what I've got here is I have not only one dozen of donuts, pumpkin flavored of course, but I've got two dozen donuts. And just so you guys know, we are, we are legitimate here. I'm also going for the most feet climb during a two hour run activity today, whereas Skylar's going for the most distance run. Cover as much ground as possible in two hours while consuming as many of these two dozen donuts as possible. All right, GRVR, two hour activity starting now. The goal is to eat as many as I can in two hours. <laughs> Come out the gate, the 6.35 pace. Yeah. Uh. Feeling good, three down, sunrise right behind me. Awesome. Mile and quarter, 19 minutes, 13 donuts. Yeah, whatever you're thinking, it's pretty much what I'm thinking right now, too. Coming down off the line, definitely get that feeling. Want to eat some more? We'll miss half on the We'll end it there because I want you guys to go watch the rest of the uh, of the video on your on your own time at Mountain Outpost. But I'm, I'm like, you see Jamil's <laughs> face over the course of that video, and you go, dude, just you don't have to do this. You know, you can stop, and he does eventually stop. But also seeing him carry two brown boxes That's of donuts. That's what everybody's cracking up about right now. He has the medal around his neck. He's got the T-shirt. <laughs> he's got his his camera gimbal plus the donuts. Like, what are people thinking? <laughs> people in Phoenix are like, what is? What is this guy? <laughs> is he carrying donuts up top? Are He's those running. Vegan donuts? <laughs> Are those vegan donuts? Uh, so a huge congratulations, Skyler, for proving that. Uh, yeah, I think he got a good amount of distance too, which is pretty good. He was going for both distance and donuts, and Jimmy was going for both gain and donuts. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Yeah, that's a that's a lot of donuts. There was also a, a great runner out of Portland that did another really so many fantastic. Miles he, also he ran 14 miles. <laughs> It's it's amazing. That makes me feel sick. And right, I know it's it's terrible. There's a great runner out of Portland that also had a fantastic video submission. Uh, we'll talk about it here in a second, but uh, also ran and, and collected donuts and uh, or ate donuts. Uh, the good thing about being in Portland is that you have a variety of donut shops mm -hmm. to choose from, like really good donut, like shops. great donut shops. So it's almost a waste to try to eat them during a run in, in two hours. But congratulations, mm -hmm. you guys, and uh, go check out that video. It's very fun. Jamil in the chat room says there there are people who are guessing what was in the box. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the box. What's in the box? <laughs> what else do we got? Those awards uh, are accounted for, right? Yep. Okay. Let's do. We'll save that one. I and... think we should save this one too. Yeah, let's save that one. Okay, let's start going through the the big number ones. This one. Yeah. Uh huh. This, my friends, is the Head in the Clouds Award. This was going to go. Uh, it is going to go to the individual that reached the highest point during the GRVR. I was excited of, about this one. A lot of Colorado submissions. And I knew that. I was like, people are going to submit from Colorado because they have 14ers everywhere. But I, I was hoping for a wild card entry of someone like, like somebody going up in a hot air balloon. Yeah. Or something. <laughs> like, do, you know, it was about getting outside. It wasn't about getting mileages or anything like that. So part of me is like, someone's going to go in an airplane and, and log a 35,000 foot 100 meter run or something or like run up a mountain and and keep going <laughs> <laughs> jump what was the sentence gonna be I... <laughs> or if someone like went up a mountain and yeah <laughs> and then to come on sure I'm surprised no one did that 
do they not have hot air balloons at the top of 14ers in Colorado? Like, so that's a business model. <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> I'm not going to bail go. you out of this one. I'm just going to leave. Where's Gus? He's over there. He's All embarrassed right. for me. Okay. <laughs> Regardless, uh, this, this one's pretty great because, uh, it, it actually goes to the individual that we thought was going to get it, which is the person that, that <laughs> happened to summit a 14er in Colorado. One of the people that one got of up them. on the 14ers, yeah. Yeah, they, they uh, I don't have it written down. Of course I don't. Right here. You do, yeah, because I don't have that document. We'll do, we'll do this one. Um, it goes to Greg LeBlanc. Greg managed to summit Mount Elbert in Colorado, which is 14,425, according to his Strava. The reality is it's 14,437, I think. There is multiple, it's it's like 10 or 15 feet different uh, depending on what website you look at, but 14,400 and anything is incredibly high. Uh, so that's cool. That's cool to be able to give it to someone that summited a huge mountain. That is like, that was impressive. I was impressed. Yeah. Because when I was first going through the results, I was seeing some in the 12,000 range. I was like, oh, this is pretty amazing. And then all of a sudden it's like 14, 14, 14. Yeah. You know, that, I'm going to, I'm not going to lie. There's a lot of strategy at play. Mm -hmm. I realized that when I was planning my GRVR, VR, VR route, was how, you know what's the best way to the high altitude? Yes, you just got to find a peak. But the difference is you got to find a peak that you can summit in two hours. Uh, you right. got to find a peak that that you can either run up fast enough to get to the peak in that amount of time, or the trail short enough where you don't have to worry about it. So there's a lot of strategy at play. And as we go into the distance and and gain awards, you'll see that it it actually played out a little bit different than I thought it would, especially for the gain award. Yeah. on strategy yeah um which i think uh I, I say let's do it game let's do yeah let's do gain yeah female big game mm -hmm. the female big gain award oh, this like will go to image right oh yeah i do uh this will go to the individual female that managed mm -hmm. to collect the most feet gained and we had people also convert meters to feet, that sort of thing. Strava does it automatically, depending on what region you live in and, and that kind of thing. Uh, this, make sure we go, there we go. Uh, this result is Miriam Simon Cater with a whopping 4,062, is that right? 4,062 feet. 4,062 feet of gain. It's absolutely gnarly. You can see all the gain there, uh, very impressive. That is a lot of gain to manage to get in two yep. hours. It's it's insane. It's absolutely insane. Congratulations, Miriam. Yay, Miriam! Yay! Yay. Yay. Uh, and of course, <clears throat> this is where I was talking about with... Uh, Can you just hold this one up? Yeah. Sure, I'll hold this one up. The okay. male. What? <laughs> you still want to hold that one up again? Oh, I because they look the same. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't... I, like, I get it. I was like, <laughs> we don't need Clarify. To. Uh, cool. <laughs> cool. Now this award is the same, uh, but for the male, and uh, I'm pr I'm like I'm happy to say that it goes to our good friend Chris Tanucci. Yay! <laughs> uh, friend of the show, been a guest on the show before. I knew that there was going to be some elites that came in and was like, oh, let's just let's try something. But th what's great about this is Chris wasn't he was busy at work. He and, worked all day. Yeah, it, it, he had basically planned on not doing GRVR until he started seeing the pictures and the results online and was like, you know what? There's no excuse. So at night, after the sun had already set, he's like, screw it. I'm going to go do hill repeats. In the dark. In the dark. Um, he, I'm blown away by this. Chris Tanucci, <laughs> 5,010 feet, one hour, 59 minutes, 59 seconds, with a whopping uh, eight minute 54 per mile pace look at the repeats look at those things so that's a, that's incredible um it wasn't mm -hmm. one mountain it wasn't one like hey let's go find one mountain to just go up he did a tiny little like 200 foot hill over and over and over and over again that must have been a nightmare if you guys follow him on Strava, you can go take a look for for more detailed and like run your mouse along the thing and just watch the little dot go back and forth on the <laughs> I, I'm I'm actually really excited to be able to give Chris Tanucci an award. I'm also just like blown away that he was able to do. <laughs> I, I didn't count how many repeats, but it was over, it was like twenty something. I'm not, gnarly. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I'm I'm pretty sure he also woke up the next morning and went and ran a trail half marathon, I believe, and I believe he podiumed. Yeah, he wasn't done. <laughs> oh, that workout felt great. Let's go race tomorrow and win. 
So yay, I get to send an award to Chris Anucci, which I think is pretty cool. So thank you, Chris. And uh, thank you, Miriam. Congratulations, you two. That's, I was really excited about that award because I was like, man, this is going to take a lot of work. I tried doing the math and, and on a local mountain just going, if it's too steep, like I want to do repeats. Right. I think repeats is probably mm-hmm. the most efficient way to just get gain and recover. But if it's too steep, you can't do it fast enough. It has to be the perfect grade for you to run because you can't hike it. You got to run it. And then get back down and run back up. Yeah. yeah. So that that just worked out in Chris's favor, which I think is you awesome. in the chat room says looks like a crazy EKG. It does. <laughs> it really it totally does. does. Uh, this one's going to be these. <clears throat> this award is also very cool because I'm I'm blown away because when you tar- start to talk about how much distance you can get in a certain amount of mm-hmm. time, I, I can. I'm my only frame of reference is what I could do in two hours. You know, I'm like, oh, well, I could definitely do 14, 15 miles, maybe 16 miles if I'm like just super into it. Uh, okay. <laughs> Denushin's in the chat room. You're evil, Ethan and Kim. Hmm? Well, you're a winner, Chris Denucci. <laughs> <laughs> so you're welcome. Uh, I, I don't, I have them labeled, but I don't know which one's which. So I'm going to pull up whichever one I just pull up here. So this goes, uh, the next award is the distance award. Most distance run in two hours. I'll help you hold that mm. while I click on it here. For the, this is the male winner, Jonas Hurstbrunner. Hurstbrunner. I want to make sure I get that right. Jonas Hurstbrunner, 18.2 miles with a 634 per mile pace. Uh, you can tell that he was very strategic in his route as well. It's super flat. There's a couple of bumps along the way, but it also has a slight downhill grade. Uh, which is fantastic. 18.2 miles. That's impressive. 9.1 miles an hour. And uh, he gets the distance award. Congratulations. Congratulations. Um, I just, I just, I, it's, <clears throat> it's gnarly. It's crazy. All right. And our, our female winner for the distance award. Huge, huge. 14.3 <laughs> miles to Melanie Boltby. Yay. Yeah, Melanie, also a freaking viewer of the show. Uh, she might even be in the chat room right now, but Melanie uh, is awesome. She has, uh, she also chose like the perfect route. It has a little bump at the beginning, but it's a slight downhill grade. 14.3 miles, uh, 159.50 with an 820 per mile pace average. Um, that's that's pretty awesome. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations to both of you guys. That was that's the award I was like most excited to see how many miles people could get. It's impressive. It really, really is. Yeah. Oh, I want to make sure that we, there was a guy that did um, Chris Hall on the, last year, we had an individual win the grand prize from Ginger Miss. He ran the, uh, or he won the Nordic Track Incline Trainer, which is like a $2,000 prize or something. Uh, this year, he used that to to log miles and gain. I want to give him a shout out. We could not, cons- he because the machine told him he got 12,000 feet of gain. That's impossible um, in real world, real world terms. So I was not able to count it as real game, but right. I got to give him a shout out because it, regardless of the effort that it takes to, to do an incline trainer for two hours and get as much gain as you can on it is, it's very tough. Yep. It's super gnarly. There is an online calculation that allows you to calculate incline trainer feet versus real world feet, and it was still like twenty five hundred feet or something like that. It was, yeah. it was definitely a huge effort. So I want to make sure that we shouted him out. Um, Because I don't want him to be like, I got it. I got the award. That's not his voice. Uh, Cool. (laughs) Yes. You want to do that one? Yeah. And then I think we save this one. Yeah, I think so, too, because we have lots of things to show. Yeah. Um, Okay. So, again, uh, the second to last award here is the Inspiration Award. The stories are beautiful. They're amazing. Mm -hmm. And I really want to share them with you guys. So, I, I, I think I plan on doing that. Um, hopefully we can include them. Um, you sent me the the readable one, right? Mm. The document? I'm not sure if I did. I don't think you did. But if you could, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Just for the winner, yeah. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I might I might pull it up because I wanted to read them. No, I'll read this. Yeah, just the winner. I guess I'll start with the runner-up. So there's a, a, a fantastic story from Omar Delgado. Omar Delgado not only uh, told us his story, um, he also submitted a video and and uh, it, it was really, it was tough to read because you read it and go, this guy's, this guy's amazing. Mm-hmm. And his story is fantastic. Uh, we're gonna probably allow you guys to read it online as well. We'll have to reach out to, to Omar. I'm sure he's, he's fine with you reading it, but it's incredibly inspiring. 
Um, it deals with PTSD and it's, it's wonderful. Uh, I, I want to make sure that we give him um, some love. And so we are going to award Omar a pair of Jilbo sunglasses mm -hmm. as a huge thank you for, for sharing your story, Omar, and to help in encourage you to can keep on running and keep on kicking ass and uh, to keep your eyes protected because <laughs> the Jilbo sunglasses <laughs> are awesome. Um, so Omar, we'll make sure to reach out to you. Reach out to you we'll and send thank you an you. email. Yeah, we'll send yeah. you an email for sure. Uh, okay, cool. I want to read our winners. Should be inspiration in your email. Award. There it is. There it is. Okay. The reason I chose this and Kim chose this is it 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 it, it touches our hearts and it it hits close to home for us. And so that that definitely is like uh, it was one of the main reasons why we chose it just mm -hmm. uh, for tonight. In a way, I don't feel I should qualify for this submission. After all, my distance is nothing compared with many other entrants, six-ish miles. Nothing to write home about, but it is worth writing to you about. Let me tell you about what this means to me. My story is the same as many others, except this time I'm, I've experienced it. I don't run, like I really don't run, I hate it. Being a plus size woman, the nicest way to put it, and with a desk job, running just hasn't been a part of my thinking or life since I was a kid. With my attitude against me, I had never been interested in running. But two years or so ago, my husband started running. He found it hard, but has persevered and has learned to love trail running. For him, it is not about the fastest mile, but about being outside and making your body work for you. I have seen firsthand just what it does for him. He gets stressed and let's face it, pretty grumpy sometimes. He has some responsibilities that can be difficult to cope with, but he goes for a run in the sand dunes or whichever wilderness he can find near home. And with every step, he slews up sloths terrible pronunciation with mm -hmm. words, uh, slops off some burden or emotion <laughs> or pressure. He literally comes back a different person. I can see the difference running makes for him. Anyway, he is the real inspiration. I am just following his lead, his example. I have been blessed with a supportive and loving husband. He never pressured me, only encouraged me. I had been thinking about running for a while. My thoughts would then argue against it. What would I look like passing cars? What clothes should I wear to cover up? What bra do I need? Turns out industrial strength. How would I compare to others? What if someone shouts something mean? When you announced GRVR, my husband told me about it. A virtual run, done at my own pace without too many spectators, it was ideal. I said I would do it. Then came the training. I downloaded an app that would build my fitness up gradually and started. It wasn't as awful as I had thought and the way I felt after each run or walk, wow, really good. Well, most of the time. A few weeks into my running came a relapse. You see, I suffer from depression. It has hit me three times so far in, in my adult life, and it always hits unexpectedly and hard. I am in good company with this problem. It really is an enemy to so many people. For me, depression comes with panic attacks. You know, the heart racing, a weight on your chest, terrible, inexplicable fear, not being able to shake the feeling that something bad is going to happen. They can be so frightening, and they started again. One training run, my husband and I were running uh, blocks near our house early in the morning, just when a feeling of panic hit me. I ended up sobbing into his chest, his sob the sobs making weird noises that echoed down the street. I saw curtains twitching and felt helpless. I wanted to turn back and head straight home, but the main road full of cars was behind me and I couldn't bear the, uh, bear the eyes watching me. So I had no choice but to carry on the longer circular route back home. I started to jog and I felt a little bit more relief. I couldn't believe it. It wasn't a pleasant run, but I did it and felt better. My depressive thoughts and feelings did impact my training, but my husband made a good point. Why not view a short run outside in the fresh air as my own version of a doctor visit? I wouldn't miss a doctor appointment if I wanted to get better. So despite the setback, I conquered the GRVR 16. Today, it was about four degrees Celsius, hailing, thundering, dark, rainy, and muddy. I fell over twice in the mud, front and back, within 20 minutes of starting. I wanted to cry, twisted my ankle about 30 times. I need to work on my running form, apparently had to give a had to have a quick pee in the bushes not dignified with so many layers <laughs> and i felt like vomiting but i can safely say i loved it i have now made a start on what is hopefully a new chapter with my confidence health fitness and mental emotional balance six miles may not be a great distance but for me it has been an emotional marathon thanks all and that was from esther sims so esther congratulations <laughs> you are our inspiration award winner tonight congratulations Honestly, uh, her story hits really close to home for us, and uh, we just wanted to make sure that that she knows that it's a it's a story that is not unlike many. Um, yeah, a lot of people in the chat room are 
are sympathizing and and you know they feel they yep. felt those th those same things before as well. It, it, it very touching, and it was you know still getting emotional about it. Just thinking about it. Yeah. Just big shout out to Esther, and uh, you're kicking ass. And the fact you got out and did GRVR, it's awesome. It's awesome. And six miles, fantastic. Huge congratulations to you. And you will continue to inspire. Continue to share with us your story, okay? Uh, keep us keep us in the loop because we want to know yep. uh, how things are going and if you set new goals and accomplish those and all that good stuff. So um, again, all the stories that we received are fantastic. Uh, so yeah. It was very difficult to choose one. Yeah, how can you, yeah, you can't sit there and write, well, this one's more inspiring than this one. This one just happened to hit close to yeah. us, close to our hearts. So uh, thank you, <laughs> Esther, and thank you everyone who submitted for the inspirational story. Yes. Really, really thank appreciate it. Thank you guys it. for sharing your stories that are very personal. Yep, they will continue to help people. That's why I would love to share them because uh, every story reaches out to different people in a different way. Right. Okay, uh, now comes the time when we get to my, I think this one is also very close to me. This is the Filmmaker Award. As someone who, who, has, who, who has tried to turn this into a thing, uh, Ginger Runner with making movies and documenting trail runs and different experiences and all that kind of stuff, and, and to showcase that mid-packers and pack-of-the-packers and non-elites have a story too, uh, this one I'm really excited about because uh, I just I was excited to see everyone's submissions and how they edited them and how they added music or added effects or titles or you know it was a very short turnaround which sometimes <laughs> happens and that it was on purpose I wanted mm -hmm. to see what you could create in a short amount of time you guys created some really good stuff again go watch the playlist it's yeah. fun to just sit through if only to see the di different locations that people are running yeah. in. like that was one of the coolest things to me so uh, I like this one. It's got gold and silver. This is this is the Academy Award of the Ginger <laughs> Runner Virtual Run Awards. Uh, this is Oscar. Hi, that's my parents' dog's name. I was just gonna say, you're talking to it like it's your parents' dog, Oscar. That happened automatically. I didn't. Hi. Yeah, I, Hi. Uh, okay, so we we have a lot of runner ups on this one, only because I just wanted to share some of these videos and elements of them that I really really enjoyed. First of all, we we already showed you the Mountain Outpost video. It's really high production quality. It's fantastic. So shout out to them, of course. Uh, then. Let's show you. Uh, let's show you this one. Of course, I can't see the names because my program doesn't show me the names. Um, here we go. Here we are at my favorite trail. We're on the Mountain of Sea Trail at Paul's Lake, and we're getting ready to start at the. Ginger Runner Virtual Run. We're going to do a two hour out and back. So let's get started. I'm not wearing a Ginger Runner VR shirt, and there's a good reason for that. I was originally not planning to do this run, and I really didn't think I'd be able to get out here for two hours today, and work is so busy, 
right before the holidays. Well, my friend Susan, who was signed up and who's been doing a great job recently, really increasing her rungs and her uh, mileage, had the dreaded injury, IT band, so she was unable to run. So, not wanting her entry to go to waste, she contacted me, asked me if I'd be willing to put in the miles in her place, and she emailed Ethan. He said, that's great, let's make it happen. So here I am, and I, I think this is just great because Susan's husband, Nick, he is 6,000 miles away from me. And I was laying in bed last night, and we were talking about what routes we're gonna run on our uh, on our race the following day. He's in Afghanistan right now. And so he finished his run hours ago, of course. But it's so cool to think that hundreds, maybe thousands, I don't know. There's a ton of people out here today running and uh, really coming together as a community. So thanks to Ethan and Kim for doing this. It, it just feels so great to be a part of it. Now back to the run. I had to make sure to, to show that because that's also really touching because it, it brought this group of people together, even though they're thousands of miles apart, Susan and her husband in Afghanistan. And just seeing the shirt being held by a soldier in Afghanistan is like, mm. you got to be kidding me. Like, this is, I, I couldn't believe that it had spread like that. Uh, and he completed his while he was there. Uh, and that was Les Abbott in, I think it's North Carolina, South Carolina. Uh, he, and that's a bad, like, I want to make sure I get that right. Um, <laughs> regardless, uh, that was awesome. Watching that video, I was like, man, that's really great. That's amazing. It's amazing. Um, so big shout out to, to Les and for, thank you for making the video and, and all that stuff. Really appreciate that. And a shout out to, to Susan and her husband as well. Yes. Um, all right. This next video, I really like the, like the intro. I'm like, oh yeah, man, the editing, it's awesome. The way he's shooting him, like, this is how I would do it. Uh, so I uh, enjoy this one. from Jordan Kinnavan and I loved it just because I was like oh yeah yeah you got to edit like waking up in the bed and all that kind of stuff I thought that was really smart and fun <laughs> and uh, I really enjoyed that uh, the next one comes from a gentleman in North Vancouver I like this one because it's punk rock it's his own band he plays bass in the band the music is available it, like I liked it he sped it up he's carrying two GoPros I just I liked it it's also one of my old hometown trails that we used to run all the time Norvan yep. Norvan Falls Norvan in Falls. Uh, North Vancouver gotta give this guy a shout out enjoy a little bit of this Put that bit of it in the parking lot, she was having a girl, then smoke it by. You see me low when it's 49. Said her old man was doing time. Can you handle me? Come a quarter mile. Blue me a kiss, a crooked smile. Do her face and fall the line. Got to give him a shout. That, I, I just love that one. Um, the music is awesome. That, that is his band. So he plays bass in that band. And uh, in the link of the video, you can go check this out. It's all in the Ginger Runner uh, virtual run playlist. Uh, has a link to the music. It's on Spotify and all that kind of stuff. You can definitely um, go enjoy it as, as you please. That was Wing Taylor from North Vancouver. What were you going to say? Oh, I was going to say, I also had a favorite one that I picked, which I didn't give you a video clip to, I don't think. I was just about to give them shout outs. But yes, go for it. Uh, one of my favorites was from Dan Winters, who uh, took us through Portland. Wait, 
No, 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 no. not Portland. Yeah, uh, uh, Pendleton. 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 Yeah. And uh, he stopped at a distillery in the middle of it. In the middle of the run. It's awesome. And he takes a shot. Yeah, and it was just one of that was just one of my favorite ones. It was just entertaining and really fun. So make sure you guys find that one on the playlist that Ethan has created as well. Yep. Uh, I wanted to make sure we gave him a shout out. Uh, yeah, Dan Winders. I also want to shout out Alex Bridgeforth, who's been a huge supporter of Ginger Runner since like the beginning. I uh, believe he's in Germany, but he had I would say the wettest vid. Uh, the, he it, like starts in a rainstorm and then just gets like worse and worse and worse. He's got some really great shots in there of like traffic and and driving through the good time lapse type stuff. Oh uh, yeah, gotta give gotta give a shout out to Alex uh, and Linus Crone. Uh, Linus is from Sweden, uh, as I mentioned. Right. He's the one that's having surgery, and uh, he put together this big group of ginger runner virtual runners. They went and ran in just some beautiful territory with snow and ice, and it's uh, people of all ages, and it's cool. It's a really cool video. Mm -hmm. We gotta give him a shout uh, as well. And I think the most ginger like GRVR shirts. Yeah, run together. There's a right? great reveal within the first <laughs> ten seconds of all the GRVR shirts. It's like, yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. Uh, in Sweden, though, which is just rad. We gotta yeah. go to Sweden. Yeah. 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 Okay, good. <laughs> Wonder if you were on board because <laughs> I really want to go. Uh, I also want to give a shout out to um, his YouTube handle is WV Running Dawn. He has a video as well, but in like the coolest. Uh, thing ever, like the coolest thing ever is that he went to all the other GRVR videos and commented like really amazing positive things. He wasn't just like, hey, here's my entry and, and calling it quits. He would go to the others and watch them and like comment, I love it at this moment when you do this thing or yeah, it, like giving love. community and like just the willingness yeah. to watch everybody's clips and, and give everybody a little bit of love was really, really incredible. And he had reached out, um, we kind of put two and two together. He's in the chat room. Great, he's in the chat room. He uh, reached out <laughs> at one point and was like, hey, I didn't get a medal because I think he registered for the virtual, uh, or, I'm sorry, the digital download version. Yeah. He's like, hey, I would, would love it, like a medal or, you know, I don't know if you have any of those left. We do for you, my friend. You will be getting uh, a medal and a patch and stickers and we'll, we'll send you the pack because um, that's awesome. We like that. You will need to email Ethan, though. I, I guess we can probably look up his. Yeah, email me. Just email yeah. me. We'll, we'll just make sure that we get you what you need. Yes. Because uh, I think that was really awesome. I was really happy with that. Okay. So we have two. Uh, Two individuals uh, left, two videos. Uh, one I wanted to shout out because I understand the production quality that goes into something like this. It's a lot of work, especially to turn it around so tightly. Uh, just like having graphics and all that sort of stuff. And Mountain Outpost can attest to this too because they do a lot mm -hmm. of things like this. Um, this one goes to our friend in Portland. He did the donut challenge as well as the film challenge all in one run, which I think is fantastic. And we're going to make sure that he gets, uh, uh, this is Logan Freilich. We're going to make sure that Logan gets a gift certificate to Seven Hills Running in Seattle, Washington. Yes. So he can spend that if he wants to drive up to Seattle. He can do it that way or online. online. And you can also call Phil at the shop and stuff like that. So, uh, Logan, uh, congratulations to you. I want to show you a little bit of Logan's video. I'm Logan Freilich. I'm doing the Ginger Runner virtual run. I'm doing the donut challenge. I'm going to try to attempt to run a half marathon, eat 12 donuts, stop at 16 donut shops. Let's go. We're at Coco. It's local in Portland. I'm here from Portland. It's our second donut shop. This is their donut, the Coco Espresso Bean and Chocolate. Okay, right, another blue star. I'm feeling okay. We're just trying to make through the miles. Okay, let's go. We're at Coco by Pioneer Courthouse Square. This is our third or fourth one. I can't remember, but we're going to make it out of downtown and go faster. See you all next time. Okay, we're here at Donut Bite Labs, food truck here in Portland. We've got mini donuts. Save time, I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna keep going on to Voodoo. See you next time. Voodoo. I love it, I think it's awesome. I know that it takes a lot of extra effort and rendering and all that kind of stuff to add the video and the graphics. And I like that he had the sickness, sickness meter. meter. That changes. Uh, I won't spoil the ending, but I will tell you that there's some twists in there. Uh, so go check out Logan's video. It's fun. It's awesome. And of course, it's Portland. So I got to give them shout outs too. They do have some of the best donuts I have ever tasted. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. I'm now under the LaCroix. What are you partaking? <laughs> oh, Kim's got the beer now. So uh, this was obviously, this was tough because I, I watched all these videos and went, well, I like it because of this. This is what I want to win. Oh, well, I like this one because of this. I like this because of this. Um, yeah, there's a lot that were like, 
we want to give these all awards. Yeah. They're all just special in their own their own way. The reason the reason I chose this one was for for a couple of reasons. Um I thought that it had like the most cohesive story, really. Uh I thought the visuals were pretty good and I thought her uh she talked a lot to the camera and kind of told you what was happening and gave you a good guide of where she was and why she was doing things and had some levity in there. Um uh it was it it felt like the most Ginger Runner-ish video, I guess you could say, yeah. um, out of all of them. So for me, I was like, yeah, I want to I wanna award this. I think this is really cool. And it seems like something that she had fun doing it. And it also made us really happy. It made us happy us. when we watched it. <laughs> uh, I, got ha here's, I got happy because it was she's from Germany. And I instantly was like, I can't believe someone who I've never met in real life did this virtual run, filmed herself, uh, doing something really cool and special and probably, you know, challenging. She had a, it was challenging, the the route that she chose. Made this video, edited it together and submitted it. And mm -hmm. I'm like, this, how, how weird is this world <laughs> where we can do this sort of thing? And uh, so a huge congratulations to Joanna Wilmerth. I, I, you get the filmmaker award just because I had Yay. so much fun watching your video. And it, it basically gave me like delight. I thought it was yeah, just we were really, both really happy watching like, just it. really happy watching it. So we're going to show it. Uh, in its entirety, because I think uh, I want her to have the stage and and to um, and to showcase uh, this fun little video. Here we go. This is my movie for the Ginger Runner virtual run. Um, I arrived. <laughs> it was a one hour train ride to get here um, at the ride. That we're gonna start. Now, the timing in two hours, I will be using the Strava app. And I'm gonna quickly show you the map. Here's the map. We're at the moment here. And we're gonna go up to the Drachenfels, that means Dragon's Rock. And um, up here, that's all like a vertical K. And then down, up those hills, up to the biggest hill, and then bombing all the way down to the train. Up, there we go. Okay. Magical German woods and a lot of grinding. <sighs> Sit back. Yay. My way goes up there, but just check out the video before we end. Okay, the time is halfway up. I'm not as far as I wanted to be, but that's fine. First mile took about 30 minutes, so that's fine. Just gonna keep going and uh, descend down this beautiful creepy. Against Ethan's suggestion, <laughs> race nutritional, my carrots. Sorry, 
I'm trying to lose weight. Yeah. Bit big, which means like um, clean way. I keep back, but great view. So the two hours are up. Um, I'm not done <laughs> with um, what I planned, but um, that's okay. I did pretty good. Uh, I'm pretty exhausted, so I'm gonna cut short just to finish the 10k and not the 13.5 or so I plan. Yeah, and um, maybe I've had some donuts. Yay! Congratulations, Joanna. I just, I love it. I think it's, it's a delight of a video. Uh, no carrots were harmed. No carrots were harmed, <laughs> which is good. I don't. She says that I, I, against my better suggestion. I, nothing wrong with carrots. Carrots are what gave me my uh, green hair, my red <laughs> hair, my green eyes. Uh, so yeah, I, I think that's really fun. All the videos are super fun. I know we have a lot of the sub submitters in the chat room right now, and. I want to shout them all out. So I made that playlist. I encourage you uh, who are watching live or maybe even listening to the podcast where you just listened to a video play. Right. <laughs> I uh, encourage you to come check it out on the YouTube channel. Check out the playlist because they're all fun. They're all like different locations and different styles. And um, yeah, it's great. I had a great time watching those. Yeah, it was fun. So that is it, my friends. That is it for Ginger Runner Virtual Run 2016 for the awards. Huge success. We will do this again. If you have any ideas for the next round is like oh as far as swag and stuff like that we'll we'll be talking a lot about that in the future as far as um how we want to uh, up the game because i yep. think as a first initial version of it I, i'm super impressed and pleased and it's amazing to see the community around the globe come together that's i'm been, always in, in, inspired by that yeah and that's been the huge thing for us is just seeing everybody from all walks of life all around the world take part in this thing it was really exciting to see the first results start to roll in for people that were it was wild it was <laughs> not wild. north america but yeah. yeah and we have uh there's there's something i was going to show tonight i might show it um next week or something but uh, a friend of ours who uh, i think is also from sweden or norway is creating a really cool strava map an animated strava map that shows when people's races are starting uh, basically where their stravas are pinging um, so it, it kind of goes across the map and you can see people starting their runs and finishing their runs and stuff like that. It's really neat based off of uh, the people who submitted through the form. So we have hundreds that submitted through the form so we can basically light up the map with where people ran, which I think is really cool. So he's working on that now. It takes a lot of work and um, uh, we'll hopefully be able to show it in a future episode, maybe next week. Mm -hmm. I, uh, before we go, of course, I want to thank all of you for watching tonight, watching live. I, I know that it's a day late. Uh, normally we do our shows on Monday nights at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, but tonight we, we had to move it a little bit and it actually gave us an extra day to help collect everything. We needed that extra day. We needed day. it. We could have even used another another day. Yeah. Um, I could have gotten my tux uh, already. That's your stink tux. That's my stink tux. <laughs> Next week, I, I am blown away that we have Dave Mackey joining us on the show next week. Yeah. So next week's episode is going to be amazing. Uh, Dave Mackey is going to come on the show and tell us all about his uh, his recent surgery, um, removing his leg from, I believe, the knee down. We're going to talk specifically about that and why it had to be done, what recovery is going like, and uh, mm -hmm. his whole story. He's one of the best ultra runners on the planet, one of the most uh, awarded and recognized He's just an incredible person. Uh, and this is going to be a really interesting story that I can't wait to hear more of. Um, so we're going to have Dave Mackey on the show next Monday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's it for tonight's show. There will be no post-show tonight because we took because uh, it's an award show and we don't have a guest tonight. So Patreon supporters, you will get a post-show next week with Dave, which I'm really excited about. I think that'll uh, help account for not having a post-show tonight. Uh, if you would like to help keep the lights on and the mics hot and also join us for Monday's post-show with Dave, you can do so by joining Patreon. It basically is, is how we keep this channel alive. Mm -hmm. Uh, we don't take money from sponsors at this point, and I, I kind of like that. I like being f publicly funded. So if you would like to help uh, make the channel happen, go to patreon.com slash the ginger runner for as little as a buck a month. It keeps the lights on and the mic's hot. And uh, I, I have to say 
a huge thank you to every Patreon supporter that has been a Patreon supporter, uh, whether you are still, you were for a long time, you are no longer, but at some point you were. Um, a decade on and all the films that we make on the channel would not be possible without your support. And yep. a decade on specifically because it involved a lot of travel and a lot of work and a lot of long hours. And it's one of those where I, we couldn't have done it without the Patreon support because it just right. it wouldn't have been possible. Um, so a huge shout out to everyone who's been supporting over there. It's just, it's a weird time that we live in when we can be publicly funded. It's it's really cool. Mm -hmm. It just didn't exist years ago. So it's, it's really neat to be able to say that. Go for it. Two things. People are asking if there is a ginger owner club on Strava. There's a there's train a train race, race beer, beer club. club. Yeah, club. yeah. There was not a GRVR 16 Strava club because the results. I wanted one day's results. The Strava clubs take your whole week's results, so people's mileages wouldn't have been like here's my one exercise for GRVR. It would have been your whole week of exercises, so it wouldn't have really worked. But there is a right. train race beer club on Strava. Yeah. And two, y'all have inspired my mom. She just sent me a text and she said, I have to get, get fit so I can do this next year. That's awesome. So that's pretty good. That's awesome. Uh, shout out to Ben Gibbard, <laughs> former guest of the show. His parents. Also my mom. Also, yeah, also your mom. <laughs> uh, but no, just like your mom saying that is like, of course, like even Ben Gibbard's yeah. parents got yes. out there. They don't normally run and they had their shirts and everything and they took a picture. It's really so, cute. Yeah. It's adorable. <laughs> People's parents are doing this sort of thing and, and relatives and kids and families who don't normally work out together did this together and i think that's one of the, one of the coolest things and i don't want to just keep i basically i'm sleeping with a full heart and the last few nights have been amazing because it's i've basically gone to bed smiling and it's been a long time since that sort of stuff has happened and it's just like man this how cool is this uh so thank you everybody for the continued support and for partaking in something that we thought was I mean, you can't help but think it's going to be a failure when you right. come up with an idea and <laughs> pitch it and you throw it out there and then people start doing it. You're like, wow, this is this is really cool. So uh, make sure you guys go search the hashtag GRVR16 yes. on Instagram. Give everybody some love. Show and, love. And same as the videos on uh, YouTube as Absolutely. well. Yeah, go comment on the YouTube videos. At this point, the show will end. Take this next, rather than doing a post show, go watch everyone's videos and and show them some love because yep. they, they totally deserve the views and, and all that kind of stuff. Thank you, guys. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, Elevation Culture. Thank you, Jobo Sunglasses. Did we give away the second pair of Jobos? I forget. Did we do that? Did I forget? No. Oh. Did we? Who were they going to go to? I forget. <laughs> Hold on. Don't go anywhere. Hold on. <laughs> we had written. We have a lot written down on like multiple pages. I have one pair of Jobos to Omar. Yeah, uh, we gave Omar a pair. Seven Hills is going to Logan. To, yeah, Logan. You were responsible for the second pair I of was, Jobos, but I don't know if you said anything. I don't think I did. You guys, did we give away a second pair of Jobos? Oh, boy. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Do we need... I think we need to give a pair of Jobo sunglasses away. This is for the people who, even after we said goodbye, are, like, still hanging on. Uh, so let's do it. What do you think? I think we should do... I think we should do... Hang on. Pull maybe, it up. I'm I with you. I think we should maybe do a trivia. Ooh, I like trivia. I like this. Do you have the question? Oh, I know where you're going Maybe with this. That? Yeah. I'll pull, I'll pull. Is yours up? Is my what up? Chat room? No. Oh, do you want? Oh, yeah, we can, we can ask mine. That's fine. Yeah, because yeah, it's okay. the same. Yeah. I'm assuming it's the same. Go for it, babe. I'll pull up the chat. Okay. Room. So this is going to go to somebody in the chat room right now. Uh, for <laughs> someone's going trivia oh no my grvr run uh how many feet of elevation gain did i get how much gain did kim get in her grvr run people are now it's usually it's the fastest tab opener strava go to her searcher uh we'll find out the answer here and they will win a pair of jubo sunglasses so they've been five <laughs> no more than that oh man i gotta keep an eye on oh, here boy, oh boy oh, oh boy. boy oh boy oh boy is anybody even? Oh, oh, whoa, 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 we have a winner. So that's the answer. That is the answer, and I'm seeing it there. Do we have the same yep, one? That's who I saw. First. Our computers both have the same person. This is going to go to KM Junior Mint Five. KM Junior Mint Five. A new name that we haven't seen. And welcome to the show for the first time, possibly. Uh, <laughs> congratulations, KM Junior Mint Five. I hope that you're not a bot. 
<laughs> it's just some bot <laughs> well, that no, came they in. Well, like, had to go to. Right, the yeah. correct answer. Uh, congratulations, you win a brand new pair of Jobo sunglasses. They're awesome. Email. Um, email me, thegingerrunner at gmail.com, and uh, we'll hook you up with a pair. Uh, we'll make sure that you get those. They've been awesome. They were like, yeah, let's give some sunglasses away tonight. And uh, I had a name pulled aside at some point tonight. I was like, oh, we got to make sure that we give them a pair. I apparently didn't write that down. Uh, so we'll give it through the trivia. So congratulations, KM Junior Mint 5. Yeah. All right. So that's it. That is now officially <laughs> the end of the show. We basically, we just pulled like, uh, all right, goodbye. Whoa, go, go. Come on back. Uh, thank you guys again. Awesome show. Have a great night. Enjoy the rest of your week. Uh, we'll see you uh, next Monday, 6 p.m. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. If you live in the United States. Bye. <laughs>